Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Megan's PR stunt with dog guy backfires as sad ending for dog Bogart exposed. Now that the royal wedding is thankfully over, many animal lovers are wondering whatever happened to Meghan Markle's two rescue dogs. She called them the light of her life and her two best friends with a viral article saying one dog was spotted driving with the queen to the royal wedding. Well, people are now outraged after learning the truth about what really happened to her two dogs. From all accounts, Meghan Markle doesn't have close friends. The only relative invited to her wedding was her mother, and the only other people sitting on the bride's side were her co-workers. Her one longtime childhood friend Nikki Pretty was her maid of honor at her wedding to Trevor Engelson. But after the new Duchess of Sussex made it as a TV actress, she dumped everyone she knew back in her hometown of Los Angeles, which included divorcing Engelson. While living in Canada and filming the TV show Suits, she rescued two dogs from a shelter. First, she adopted Bogart, a Labrador Shepherd mix. Then, she got him a companion, a beagle she named Guy. Megan featured the dogs heavily all over her social media accounts. The two dogs bonded and became completely inseparable. Animal lovers have been greatly concerned about what happened to the two dogs. The bad press surrounding Meghan's dogs, with stories saying one died and one she left behind, got to a fever pitch right before the royal wedding. Then, miraculously, on the royal wedding day, an article accompanied by a picture claimed to show Meghan's dog Guy in the Queen's Range Rover, driving to the royal wedding. Now, we can tell you, it wasn't true, and it was probably a PR stunt done by Meghan's people. Here's the video of the Queen arriving at the royal wedding, with no dog and a different outfit than the image above. In fact, the Queen, who is a dog lover, has three dogs, one corgi and two dorgies. People magazine reported, Whisper, a corgi, was brought into the family following the death of one of the gamekeepers at the royal family's Sandringham estate in Norfolk. She, the Queen, also still has two dorgies, corgi dachshund mixes, Vulcan and Candy. So, it's highly unlikely that the dog pictured in that Range Rover, if it is even the queen in the car, is Meghan Markle's dog. Which brings us to the burning question so many animal lovers are asking, what happened to Guy and Bogart? In a BBC interview with Prince Harry upon their engagement, Meghan said, Well I have two dogs that I've had for quite a long time, both my rescue pups, adding, and one is now staying with very close friends and my other little guy is, yes he's in the UK, he's been here for a while. That sparked outrage with people wanting to know why her dog Bogart had to stay behind. It was speculated that he was too old to make it to the UK, although no one ever knew just how old he was. The new Duchess only spoke of Bogart once more, saying, I think he is doing just fine. When Meghan comments, I think he is doing just fine, this says she really has not stayed in touch with whomever she left him with to know for certain if he is fine. One royal watcher wrote, supposedly it's believed that he, Bogart, was too old to make the flight in the cargo hold over to London, so he was left behind, while Meg's other pooch, Guy, went across the pond to the UK, and presumably will wind up living with her and Harry at their cottage. Wait. Too old? He was too old? Then don't make him ride in cargo. Couldn't Prince Harry charter a private jet with a vet on board, or something? Um, he probably has a few connections. So, Bogart's sad ending is that he was separated from his best friend Guy and separated from Meghan. To those who are dog owners, I bet you know when one dog dies or goes away, the other companion dog actually gets very depressed. Some go downhill and refuse to eat. Since we have no idea why Meghan didn't use some of the thousands of dollars she was spending to bring Bogart to the UK, it reminds us of how she just dumped her husband and friends back in Los Angeles. Now. You can see why the PR stunt with the planted photo with a queen and a dog on her wedding day redeemed Meghan in many people's eyes. The story was so widespread, even the liberal fact-checking outlet Snopes got involved. While we have our issues with Snopes, as it tends to lean heavily leftist, it seems it got this investigation right, saying the story was completely false. In December, Guy broke two legs, but the entire incident was kept hush-hush. The Beagle, who probably doesn't see Meghan that much, and Bogart who was left behind, both got raw deals. The former actress turned duchess should have kept them together. It was such a selfish move to bring one and not the other. They should be together. Meghan's mothering instincts aren't too keen at all. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click, like, and subscribe. Thank you.